our thank you in today's for your money. We're talking finances here. Living frugally could be an option if you're looking to make your money go further. CS Force financial expert Andy Mattingly is with us now to explain how to implement this lifestyle to save money. Andy, first question: What exactly is a frugal lifestyle? Well, some people might think clipping coupons and shopping at discount stores and cutting back on lattes, but a frugal lifestyle really goes beyond that. And it's where you're really hypersensitive on everything that you're spending to focus on a couple of key goals. How do you start to implement this lifestyle then? So you, what you want to do is look at all of your spending and look at ways that you can cut back all of that skin spending so that you focus on a couple of goals. Maybe it's to live on a lower income or maybe it's to retire by the time you're 50, but everything is focused on that. Now, normally we look at things outside of the necessities, but are housing and auto expenses now included in this like whole reduction effort you're talking about? Yeah, definitely, because it's two of your bigger expenses. So if you're um, married, it may be that you're downsizing if you own a home. If you're single, if you own a home or in an apartment, you're looking to take on roommates so that you can generate some income there or lower your expenses. If you have two cars in the family, it's cutting back to one. So they're very important to the frugal lifestyle. Gotcha. All right. What's some other frugal strategies here that would need to be implemented if that's the direction you want to go? Two of the big things is to make sure that you're buying more used things. And the other thing is to make sure that you're taking time when you're looking at those things, because it's not just the lowest cost. You want to find real value. What's the hardest habit then to change out of all this? Because this is obviously a big change. Yeah, one of the biggest is paying for conveniences from eating out to work done around your house. We all fall into the trap of letting other thing, other people do things for us, and that's going to cost more than if we do it ourselves. So cutting out convenience services is really one of the most difficult things to do. All right. Now, I'm going to lie to you. A lot of what you're saying here uh, seems to cut into some of my own fun. Can one still, though, have fun while trying to live frugally? Yes, frugal lifestyle doesn't mean a no fun lifestyle. You can do lots of things without spending a lot of money. If you're dating, instead of going out for dinner, make dinner together. Um, if you're a family, instead of going to the theater to watch movies, get movies from the library. Um, nature hikes, visiting parks, things like that. You can still find fun things to do. It's just that you don't want to spend a lot of money on those things. All right, Andy, as always, we uh, appreciate your sage wisdom every Wednesday. We'll see you next week, buddy. Okay, thank you.